Fresh leafy vegetables are a great addition to people's diet and offer countless health benefits. But as most vegetables are grown during the rainy season, they fetch a low price when sold during peak harvest time. We started drying kale leaves because all farmers were planting kale and we had excess supply on the market, leading to a drop in the price. Some of the kale ended up being thrown away because there was just too much. Farmers and vegetable sellers find it hard to sell leafy vegetables even a day after harvest because the leaves spoil quickly. Fresh vegetables are also bulky and get easily damaged during transport. Transporting kale leaf to the market using donkeys is difficult and costly. When we get to the market, we only sell low volumes of kale and earn little money, so we incur heavy losses. We saw that it was good to focus on drying the kale leaves to cut down on our losses. But there are ways for farmers and sellers to reduce losses and sell leafy vegetables even out of the main harvest season. Kale leaves and other vegetables such as spinach, carrots and even herbs can easily be dried and used at a later time. Dried kale leaves can be soaked and then prepared in the same way as fresh leaves. We will learn from Larry Pioneer Vegetable Processors in the Kirenga district of central Kenya how to dry kale leaves. But first, let us listen to James Moura, the secretary of the group, as to why they only use vegetables from their own growers. When leaves and other products are sprayed with the chemical pesticides, after we dry them in solar dryer, they could be poisonous. Therefore, we do not take produce from people who are not members of our group. To protect our consumers, we dry from members only. Jen Mugo, another member of the group, will tell us how they select their leaves for drying. When we go to the farm, we harvest the good leaves. When we find the ones that are yellow, we throw them away and harvest those that are green. It doesn't matter what size the leaves are. What really matters is that the kale leaf is of good quality. Only pick the lower leaves. Remove any insects and dirt. Do not pick the top green leaves so that the plant can continue growing. After one week, we can come back and harvest the lower leaves again. Some kale varieties can keep growing like this for up to one year, if the crop is well managed. After harvesting, bring the leaves home. Wash your hands thoroughly with clean water and soap before you start handling the kale. Sort out the good leaves and remove any unwanted ones. You should remove the stalks from the leaves because dried stalks are very tough to eat, but they can be fed to your livestock. Before washing the kills, make sure your hands are clean. Wash the leaves twice in clean water so they are completely clean and all insects are removed. As kale leaves can be tough, make them tender by soaking them in lukewarm water. Pour clean water into a pot and heat until it is lukewarm. Do not boil the water as the kale will lose nutrients. We add salt to the water to maintain the green color. If you put the leaves in the warm water without salt, they will lose their color. Once the salt has dissolved, remove the pot from the fire. Put the leaves in the lukewarm water and stir for about five minutes to ensure the leaves become evenly soft. Then transfer the leaves to cold water to refresh them. Place the leaves on a raised mesh to allow excess water to drain. 
Now transfer them onto the trays for the solar dryer. Spread the leaves across the trays so they can dry evenly. Place them in the solar dryer. Solar dryers come in various shapes and sizes, but all share the same principle. They capture the heat of the sun to dry things faster. We decided to use solar dryers for our vegetables for hygiene purposes. Vegetables dry faster in a solar dryer and at the same time they are kept free of dust, dirt and bad droppings. After two days, check if the leaves are sufficiently dry. Always make sure to thoroughly wash your hands before touching the leaves. If the leaves are sufficiently dry, they should still look slightly green and will make a cracking sound when touched. If they are brown, they are over dry. Now, the leaves are ready for packing. Put the dried leaves in small polythene bags and seal them so they do not absorb moisture. The Larry Pioneer group pack the leaves in the solar dryer to avoid dust entering the bugs. Put the packed kale leaves into an airtight container for extra protection. Store the container in a cool, dry room away from direct sunlight. The dried kale can easily be stored for more than six months. As the group invested in a large solar dryer, let us listen one more time to James how they make best use of it. In our dryer, we dry things like kales, carrots, banana and stinging nettle. We dry any produce that is moist. When dried in a solar dryer, they become better than the fresh ones. In the group, we agree that a member can bring 100 kilograms of kale leaves and one bucket of carrots in a month. When we have orders, a member can bring five buckets of carrots and 300 kilograms of kale leaves in a month. Now let us look at what we have learned. Harvest the lower green leaves. Discard any yellow and damaged leaves. Wash your hands thoroughly before sorting. Remove the stalks from the leaves and wash the leaves twice in clean water. Dissolve some salt in lukewarm water, add the leaves and stir them for about five minutes. Transfer them to cold water, then drain them. Spread the leaves on trays and place them in the solar dryer. When the leaves are dry, pack them into polythene bags and seal them. Keep the sealed bags in an airtight container for extra protection and store in a cool, dry room. Dried vegetables can be stored for over six months so you can enjoy green leaves even when they are out of season.